What's up guys, Everything Apple Pro here, and this is pure madness. iOS 9 has been jailbroken, Pangu has pulled through with her promises, and we now have a full jailbreak for iOS 9. This is unbelievable. My iPhone 6S, which I literally got less than three weeks ago, is already jailbroken on the latest version of iOS 9. I just want to take a moment before getting into this tutorial to say thank you. Pangu, you guys are literally the best right now. Something that seemed impossible has been done. iOS 9 has been jailbroken and it even works on the latest 6S and 6S Plus. So 9.0.2, I'm going to go ahead and show you how to jailbreak your guys' devices on iOS 9.0.2, 9.0.1, 9.0 on any device supporting it. So that includes iPads, iPod Touches, and all iPhones, all the way from the 4S, 5, 5C, 5S, 6, 6 Plus, and all the way to the new 6S. So just to show you guys, I do have it. There's a new version of Cydia Substrate, so tweaks will start working very, very soon, but man, what a good thing to wake up in the middle of the night to. Anyways, let's go ahead and jump right in. I'm gonna show you how to install this and get jailbreak working on your device. Now, this is Windows only for the moment and it's a very, very simple process. So I'll put links right here or down below in the description. Go ahead and download the latest version of Pangu and this will be updated many, many times. Right now it's 1.0.0, but you know they're gonna update it with bug fixes and all that. And you guys wanna go ahead and install the latest version of iTunes. I have iTunes 12.3 running right now and it works without a problem. So you guys should have no issues. Go ahead and install the latest version of iTunes. Make sure your device is set up. Trust to the computer and it's just as simple as this. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab another 6S. I didn't jailbreak yet. All right, so uh, pop this guy out of here. So this is a non-jailbroken 6S, also on the latest version of 9.0.2. So I'm gonna go ahead and plug this guy in. So this is what you wanna do. Go ahead and trust the computer also continue in iTunes. And you can go ahead and close iTunes. It doesn't really interrupt the process, but it's better to have it closed. All right, so uh, Let's go ahead and right click on Pangu, run as administrator and select yes. Man, <laughs> these guys are unbelievable. This makes me so happy that we have a jailbreak on the latest version. So there's actually quite a little bit of stuff that Pangu needs you to do on your device before you actually go ahead and run the jailbreak. So let me go ahead and run through them. First off, make sure you are in airplane mode. Disable any internet connection, any wireless connection. So make sure this airplane mode is on. Then go into settings. I'm gonna go back, go into Touch ID and Passcode and remove your Touch ID or Passcode. This will interfere with the jailbreak. Go to iCloud right here. And go ahead and sign out of iCloud for the time being. You know, the more stuff you do like this, the better it'll be. Now, Pangu recommends you back up your device. So in iTunes, create a full backup just in case anything goes wrong. I had no issues, but you know, it's not gonna be the same for everybody. So I'm gonna run through troubleshooting at the very end, but make sure your device is backed up. It will prevent any headache in the future. Another thing is, if you guys can, you know, create a fresh restore on your device. Now, this isn't something you have to do, but if you have any issues, you can always just create a fresh restore jailbreak and then restore your backup it does help a lot but i'm not going to do that personally so let's go ahead and click start and right here it's going to tell you pretty much back up your device enable airplane mode and uh pretty much if you have a lot of data a lot of applications remove them because if your device is completely full or almost full this will not work all right so go ahead and select already backup <laughs> that English though. All right, so this is gonna take a while. I'm gonna sit here and run you through this. There's a lot of things you actually have to do in your device. I wonder if this has something to do with all the exploits used. Man, can you guys just take a moment and think about this? The impossible has been done. We're running a jailbreak on iOS 9, something that was considered to be completely impossible to do. I mean, Wow, blows my mind. Rootless, who cares about you? Apple, ah, Apple's gonna be pissed, man. Anyways, so it's backing up, configuring the environment. And I just wanted to mention that, yes, this will void your warranty. So if you guys actually need some service done, a screen replaced, anything that's under warranty, you can easily unjailbreak using Cydia Impactor. And I have a video on that. You know, you don't even need to restore your device. It'll just remove everything straight from there. No, this is not illegal. It's protected by the DMCA Act. So, you know, this is completely 100% legal to modify your device. So this is where the input starts. Uh, we have to go ahead and get into our device and the airplane mode has turned off. So we need to go ahead and slide the control center back up and enable airplane mode. So it's gonna continue the jailbreak. And then there's one more thing or a couple other things we have to do after this. So go over and select Pangu. And then in here, we need to go ahead and click accept. 
and allow it photos. So that's really interesting. They found an exploit in allowing the photos. Man, <laughs> that's just crazy. All these little steps, all these little exploits, how they found it, how they did it, just blows my mind. Um, anyways, so just don't touch anything, you know, sit tight. It's almost finished, and in a moment here, we're gonna have a fully jailbroken device on iOS 9.0.2 or any other iOS 9 firmware. So uh, we're done on there. So pretty much the entire process is on our phone. So uh, I'm gonna wait for it to restart, and then we're gonna go ahead and set up Cydia. Now, I wanna warn you guys, don't go installing a whole bunch of tweaks right away, especially if you're on an iPhone 6S or 6S Plus, because, uh, you know, everything isn't compatible yet. You're gonna be sending your device into safe mode a lot. Wait for things to get updated. It usually takes, you know, a couple weeks. But anyways, jump right into Cydia and uh, you can go ahead and re-enable Wi-Fi and uh, it's gonna prepare the file system. And so if you get this, that's okay. You know, it's only while setting up Cydia. It's not like it took up all your uh, storage and although I do have a 16 gig. Okay, so slide back over to Cydia and in here, this is it. Wow. So if your device isn't automatically uh, refreshing, you want to go into changes or changes right here and hit refresh, but you should see an update. Go ahead and select this, select continue queuing, and then we're going to search for Cydia substrate. So uh, this guy right here. So this is what's pretty much going to allow us to go ahead and install the latest tweaks once they are updated. Go ahead and select install. So install the latest update, Cydia substrate confirm. So uh, although the tweaks won't be available right right now, you know they will be very soon and Cydia Substrate, which has already been updated, crazy, I know it takes a while usually, uh, it's gonna allow us to install those tweaks. So I'm on a 6S, fully jailbroken on iOS 9.0.2 and I cannot believe this, guys. It's just blowing my mind that it happens so quick. So a big, big shout out to the Pengu jailbreak team and uh, I wanna run through some troubleshooting with you guys. I know not everybody's gonna have such a smooth experience for me. I mean, it was flawless. Just click jailbreak, follow the on-screen instructions, and I was done. But if you guys are having issues, one of the common issues that I have is fake USB cables. So if you're using a fake one, use a real one and swap USB ports. Try a different port on your computer. If you're having errors, restart your computer. Make sure you have the latest version of iTunes installed. Make sure you update on your device to 9.0.2. What's the point of staying on 9.0.1 or 9.0 if you could have the latest version and be jailbroken on it? Make sure you're running the latest version of Pangu. Again, right now it might be 1.0.0, but in the future, the uh, you wanna make sure you get the latest version. I'll have all the links down below, remember. So make sure you're running the newest version of that. Other than that, you know, if that doesn't work, restore your device. Back it up, restore it, try the jailbreak, it'll work for sure. And then restore all your data after. Also, you guys can try a different computer. That's kind of like last resort. If it's not working, try a different computer. It usually works uh, and try all the steps that I did mention in this video. So guys, that's just about it. If you're wondering about tweaks and all that, I'll be covering everything on my channel. So stay tuned for everything. This is just the beginning. This is just the beginning of truly enjoying your iPhone like nothing else. I mean, complete customization doing anything. One of my favorites is customizing Snapchat to be able to do whatever you want. People that aren't jailbroken will never understand. So stay tuned for all of my tweak videos, guys. I'll have a ton for you. I do hope this video did help you jailbreak your device. This is just unbelievable. You know, it blows my mind that so early in the game we have a jailbreak. And, uh, you know, stay tuned for all of those tweak videos. And again, I just wanted to say, you know, a million thank yous to Pangu. We saw the demo for the iOS 9 jailbreak. You know, it was being run on the GM version, but no one was ever going to release it. You know, Pangu, the team that pulls through and gives us the jailbreaks. So I'm very happy about that, guys. Like, I just, I just want to say thank you again and again and again. You know, living without a jailbreak is hard, but now we're gonna be doing so many cool things. And on this channel, I'll be showing you so much of that. And if you guys are on iOS 8.4, you know, go ahead and update, why not? I mean, yeah, the performance isn't great, but if you have a newer device, you could have a jailbreak and all of the latest features, you know, everything that's great about iOS 9, you guys can have it on your device. And the possibilities with 3D Touch really excite me. I mean, there's nothing for Cydia yet, but imagine, imagine what we can do with 3D Touch. When Touch ID was released for the 5S virtual home, a lot of possibilities were opened up, but now with 3D Touch, man, the possibilities really, really are gonna be out there and I'll be covering everything on this channel. So guys, sorry for rambling. I'm just super, super excited. Thanks so much for watching. Hope I did help you jailbreak your device with this video. 
video. Stay tuned for many more tweak videos and check out some older ones. Maybe a couple tweaks will be updated for the 6S. Uh, maybe they'll be working. You know, stay tuned for all of that. Have a great day, guys. Enjoy your jailbreak. Peace.